Hey guys, this is Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and today I'll be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 with just one click. So for those of you who have already subscribed to our channel, uh, you may be aware that we already did a rooting video for the Galaxy S4. Uh, while that method got the job done, it was a little convoluted. Uh, you needed to have an SD card reader, you had to format the SD card to a particular format, and there are a bunch of other steps. So if you maybe held off on that rooting method because you maybe didn't have an SD card reader or whatever other reason, you are in luck because we've discovered a new rooting method which is way easier than the last one. Uh, all you need is your Samsung Galaxy S4, a USB cable, and a Windows PC. And one thing you should know before you start, uh, this method doesn't cover uh, including a custom recovery. So you may have to do that separately if you want to install custom ROMs and such. And that's doable on pretty much all the variants of the Galaxy S4 except for Verizon users on the ME7 firmware and AT&T users with the MF3 firmware. Those particular variants still have their bootloader locked so trying to install custom recovery will possibly break your phone. So first we're going to need to have USB debugging enabled. So if you don't have developer options, um, you can enable them by uh, tapping on build number. Uh, it's uh, like five or seven times and it'll bring up the developer options menu. So once that's enabled, let's go to developer options and check the box next to USB debugging and tap OK. Go ahead and head over to your computer and we'll have the download link for you in the full tutorial. Uh, we're going to be using a utility called Kingo Root from the developers at KingoApp.com. Go ahead and download it, run the installer. It should only take a few minutes or so to install. Uh, once it's done, go ahead and open it up and plug in your phone. Uh, Kingo should detect your phone and it'll start installing drivers for you. So just follow the on-screen directions. Uh, at a certain point, it may ask you to uh, disconnect your phone and then reconnect it a little later. So yeah, just follow the directions that are on the screen. And um, if you get uh, any kind of error, like in the bottom left corner, it'll say device not connected or something. Um, just check your phone. And uh, there might be a little pop-up alert that says uh, USB debugging. And you just have to press OK. So once the drivers have finished installing, you'll be at this screen. Uh, you can go ahead and read through the uh, notifications and then go ahead and click root. And this should just take a few minutes. Right, so once it finishes, it should say root succeeded. And uh, it asks you to reboot your phone. Uh, it actually did it to my phone automatically, but if it doesn't do that to yours, just restart it manually. And you can go ahead and click finish. All right, so you can go ahead and disconnect your phone from your computer. And just to verify that we have root, uh, go ahead and go to the Play Store and search for an app called Root Checker. Uh, it'll be by developer Joey Krim. And it just verifies whether or not your phone has root access. So go ahead and tap the button. And uh, you have a super user request pop up. Let's go ahead and press grant. And it'll say, congratulations, this device has root access. So now that your phone is rooted, you can install apps or mods that require root access. One of the most popular ones right now is the Exposed Framework. We have a few how-to videos on that, so don't forget to check them out. And if you have any questions or ran into trouble with this rooting method, uh, don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments below. So hope you guys find this video useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.